Part of the latest U.S. strategies to pressure Pyongyang may include providing unrestricted and inexpensive electronic mass communications to North Koreans to help them see the wider world and their place in it. Connie Kim explains how feeding outside information to North Koreans could be effective in that respect. The U.S. State Department has submitted a report to Congress on ways to help North Koreans gain greater access to outside information as part of its plans to mount further pressure on the regime. Senate Foreign Relations Committee Chairman Bob Corker said Wednesday the report was submitted last week to both the Senate and House Foreign Affairs Committees. The report was required under the North Korea Sanctions and Policy Enhancement Act signed by U.S. President Barack Obama in February. The document reportedly includes a detailed strategy to provide, quote, unrestricted, unmonitored and inexpensive electronic mass communications to North Koreans. South Korea's foreign ministry said it does not know the details of the report, but described the impact outside information can have on the North Korean people. When outside information gets into the North, it can cause shockwaves in the society as it's a closed regime. In fact, looking at the surveys conducted among North Korean defectors in the South, information from outside can influence their perceptions on South Korea. To counter North Korea's continued nuclear provocations, Washington is cornering Pyongyang by putting sanctions on the regime and listing Kim Jong-un on the U.S. sanctions list for human rights abuses. The U.S. with its allies is expected to continue its pressure on the North to denuclearize with Seoul and Tokyo, considering a trilateral foreign ministers meeting on the sidelines of the U.N. plenary session later this month. Connie Kim, Arirang News.